now, it's time for another day in the life of Captain Goodlife. Oh, boy. Captain Goodlife is on. He's my hero. Oh, pour me a glass of carrot juice, will you, Wimpole? Already poured, sir. Uh, be a good chap and drink it for me, then. Won't you, Wimple? Right away, <coughs> sir. <laughs> now, burp for me. Won't you, Wimple? Yes, sir. This show always slays me. <laughs> I wish I had someone to wait on me hand and foot and clean up my messes just like Captain Goodlife. Hey, get that cheeseburger off your beak and take a look at this. Uh -huh. The simple U2 home cloning kit lets you create an exact duplicate of you in the comfort of your own home. Have twice as much fun. Get twice as much done with a bona fide clone of your very own. Clone of my own? That's right. Don't delay. Order your U2 home cloning kit today. Hey, if I clone myself, I'd never have to do anything for myself again. Even Captain Goodlife doesn't have a clone. Hi, this is Woody Woodpecker. I want a U2 home clone kit. Special delivery for Woody Woodpecker. the blue jean gel into the bubbling beaker. Add your own genetic info. Huh? If you're a woodpecker, a tail feather will do. What? Pluck my own tail feather? Just do it. Boom. Yeah! Wait a minute. If one tail feather makes an exact copy of me, then twice as many feathers should make a twice as good copy of me. <laughs> Say, not a bad looking woodpecker. You're almost as handsome as me. Pretty good work, if I do say so My Yeah, 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 good to meet you. Nice to know you. Nice place you got here. How much does a treehouse like this go for, anyway? Look, you got no tail feathers. What's up with that? Blah, blah, blah. Enough of the pleasantries. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> You're here to make my life good. So, for starters, you can stop the blabbing. And let's see, I want... Yeah, go get me, uh, my puppy slippers. Puppy slippers. Huh? How did you know? I'm you, remember? Wait right here. <laughs> Hey, watch it! Hey, not bad. Now, let's see. I want to live the good life, just like my hero. Captain Good Life! And to live the life, you have to look the part. You need a Captain Good Life custom wardrobe. Hey, out! Watch it! Ugh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nope, 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 nope. Not good enough. It needs a chapeau. Jewelry? Now, wait a minute. I... And for the piece of resistance, a Hawaiian skirt. You're angry, am I right? Yes, I'm angry. You're here to serve my every whim. Not turn my life into a circus act. Yeah, 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 you're angry. I get it. But what say we try and lower the old blood pressure just for funsies? And I know just how to do it. Know how I know? Because I'm you. And I know what always cheers you up is... A hot fudge sundae! Am I right? Ha, ha, ha. Am I right? Am I right? Well, this is what I eat to cheer myself up. Glad I thought of it. Hey, I made two more. You want one? Hey, look! I made two more! How about two more? Two more! Two more! Two more! Two more! Okay, let's eat. You are a mess. Listen here, you loudmouth, pushy, out of control woodpecker. Takes one to know one. Hey, know what you need? A nice warm bubble bath to calm you down and clean you up. I'm all over that. I've created a monster me. I gotta get rid of him. Me, uh, him, me, he, before I destroy. It destroys my life. <laughs> There 
you go. A nice bubbly wobbly bubble bath, the way you like it. Join me. Who, me? Sure! After all, I like everything you like. Yeah, but I like lots of bubbles. <laughs> sure, the more the merrier. <laughs> as many bubbles as possible. <laughs> Come to Papa! Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Take one more step and the duck gets it. The only person who doesn't get it here is you. Hmm, if he's me, then I'd probably pop up next in a disguise. And the disguise I'd choose would be... Hello, don't mind me. I'm just on my way to the theater. Abraham Lincoln. I'll just practice my speech as I go. Four Jaws and seven Star Wars ago, our godfathers brought forth upon this incontinent a new notion relieved of ribaldry. Hey, what's this? Oh, no. You can't do this to me. I've got your whole life ahead of me. Please, I nailed me. Oh, world, 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 world. Life of tears. Don't try to live the good life alone. You need someone else around to clean up the messes you make. Until next time, this is Captain Good Life saying, Have a good life. Now, this is the good life. <laughs> I'm Smedley T. Chuckles, world's most amusing amusement park builder. Hee <laughs> joy buzzer. Gets them every time. But enough yucks. I have purchased 99.99% of Antarctica. Why, you ask? Cheap land and lots of it. To build Winter World, the world's most amusing amusement park. Home of the Avalanche, the world's most amusing roller coaster. Your house is right where the avalanche will roll. So, I'm here to buy your chilly little domicile. Uh, just sign here. <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them. Uh, jokes, not pins. Whoa. Hmm, little fella does not seem amused by my generous offer. Yup, this little guy's sure gonna have a lot of liquid assets when I get through. This here is Winter World's gateway to fun and amusement, where our motto is whoop de doo most amusing rides. You don't just bump into your friends. You bop their cars for big yucks. Sorry, little fella. I know you're anxious for the fun and games, but... Freeze, you little ice monkey. You can't just... Now, hold on one belly-laughing minute. 
This fella's chilly reception is really starting to shave my eyes. Fresh snow cones are an important part of any amusement park. Deadly silly snowball toss is my own amusing variation on the old shooting gallery game. Huh? If that little guy is asking for trouble, I will happily oblige. I'm definitely not amused by you, you little fun wrecker. Now I got you. Um, help? Well, how humiliate a target in my own amusing arcade? <laughs> if this little guy wants a snowball war, I am just the joker to give it to him. There is more than one way to knock down an igloo. <laughs> the Avalanche Roller Coaster is ready and fully amusing. You know what? I honestly do not believe this is a gift to celebrate the opening of my park. Mama always said, it's more amusing to give than to receive. That <laughs> little fella's stronger than he looks. World's most amusing amusement park king, Surrenders, quits, gives up. It's over. Goodbye. Farewell. And do not follow me. Miss Meany. Hey, what's all the racket? They're having a garage sale. A garage sale? Anything good? Cheap? Hey! You can't sell my motorcycle helmet. Hey, that's my helmet, Woodpecker! No way! I wore this back when I was the coolest hippie at the Moonbeam Commune. I was the coolest hippie at the Moonbeam Commune. The Moonbeam Commune? I was Moonbeam! You mean Over that was there? you? I can't believe it was you two! Moonbeam Commune, free rent, free food, free friendship. Oh, wow! Right on! This is my kind of place. Hey, Mama, says you got free food here. Oh, like yes. Free as the wind. We share everything at the Moonbeam Commune and we all work together. Care to share? Work? Oh, no, not this woodpecker. I just gave away free veggies from the commune garden and got two free tickets to the Mod Baboons concert in return. The Mod Baboons? Oh? Uh? That's the concert of the decade. Oh, please.
Please take me, man. Please, please, please. No, Moonbeam. Take me to the Mad Baboons concert. <laughs> Wait, I have it. Whichever one of you proves you are the most helpful hippie brother at the commune will be the one I take to the concert. Now paint the house and make it sing with color, man. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen. Oh, no, no, sir. Hit the road, woodpecker. Hmm. Moonbeam wants this commune to sing with color? Then I'm just the go-go bird for the job. Mm -hmm. Flurb, flip, flying, flip, flip, it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a lazy crazy in front of Moonbeam. Ah, uh, in front of her, behind her, you're a lazy crazy no matter where you stand, Wally. They'll see, Mr. Smarty Feathers, you bet. I will just switch this red dye for the soap. Is the soap for the wash, my loving commune brother? Thank you, loving commune brother. <laughs> Moonbeam! Come here and see if I... It's me on the ink spray, Wally. Oh, man. If Moonbeam sees this... Okay, okay! Hello, boys! Oh, my! Gee, Wally. Looks like you got dye all over Moonbeam's clothes. Moonbeam, it's all his fault, but I will help him correct and clean up everyone's laundry. Yeah. Don't you do anything of the sort, Wally. <laughs> this new look, it's bits. Why did you tie me? Tied everything. Tie dyed, you say? Well, you certainly invented a whole new clothing style. It's beautiful. So, so you take, take me, me to, to the, the concert? concert? You two go to the commune garden and pick what's for dinner. Then I'll decide, like, who I'm taking. I will pick more food than you. from the likes of you two! Mighty rocks, man! Oh, oh, I 
Hey, you remember bell bottoms? These might fit me. Those were the days, man. Hey, look at all the money we've made. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Board can be, and I can't take it anymore, man. <sighs> Hi, neighbor. It huh? sure is a nice day. Hi, neighbor. It sure is a nice day. What? Whoa. Mimi's happy, friendly, and she isn't forcing me to do her yard work. What's wrong with her? It sure is a nice day, neighbor. It sure is a nice day, neighbor. Oh, man. I think Meanie's been turned into a robot. Wally, give me those. Ah! Uh, uh, yeah. oh. 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 Wally, buddy, you gotta help me. Meanie's been replaced by a robot. What? It's just like those Space Invaders movies. First, they start by changing one. But soon, they take over the neighborhood and turn everyone into robots, man! Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that movie. I couldn't sleep for a week. Wally, you will become one of us. I don't want to be a robot. Then we've got to stop her. But how? Water! If she's a robot, yeah, a spray of water will make her short circuit all kaplooey. What Robot Meanie needs is a speedish car wash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll go tell Meanie we're gonna wash her car. Then I'll get her to show us how to open the hood. When I give you this signal, you turn on the water full blast. Yeah, the signal. Ah, neighbor! Uh, yeah. Uh, look, we want to wash your car for you, Meanie. That's a neighborly thing to do. Work, work, work. <laughs> yes, get to work, neighbor. You'll do a nice job, I'm certain, because it's such a nice day. Why didn't it work? Wood. The horse is... <gasps> It was his idea. I didn't know it would go all kaplooey. No problem, neighbor. It's nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. You'll need some sheet metal, a radiator, some primer, new tires. And while you're out, why don't you neighbors stop and have an ice cream on me? Oh, robot, 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 robot. We gotta get proof Meanie's a robot. And a picture's worth a thousand words. When I climb up and throw the rope down, you come up after me. Then we'll sneak in through her chimney and catch Meanie robot-handed. <laughs> Lucky day. I think we made some noise with that. Accidents happen, neighbors. But I'll clean it up. Then I think I'll go clean up every house on the block. It's only a matter of time before everyone on the block is turned into robots. We have to go set up this electromagnet and zap her circuits good, yeah? <laughs> this will be 
the power source. Once we plug the wires in, it'll magnetize the whole upstairs of the house. Get me down, Wood Dugger! This home is a happy home. This home is a happy home. This home is a... to better myself, to be a nicer person, but what does it get me? Deadly squat! Ah! How could this home ever be a happy home when I got two loons living next to me? It sure is nice to have the neighborhood back to normal. Ah, you said it, Woodpecker. No more robots. Maybe I ought to burn your houses down. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Bird Boy? Fuel, do you? Well, you're wrong, son! The finder's keeper's laws do not apply in this territory. I have one day's R&R, &R, and I have requisitioned this fuel for myself. Short stuff, uh, no, uh, sudden moves. Well, this thing could, uh...
Hold it right there! That is one military issue combustibles container, and I cannot allow its transfer to non military personnel without Form 5674 and 127 stroke cash. In triplicate. You're a snappy dresser, but you're not too government savvy, are you? Hasta till next time! <laughs> Who could that be? Yes? Oh, a salesman. You're selling a satellite dish that'll get this soldier 500 channels? Perhaps no creature has adapted better to this cold climate than the penguin. Every day, these noble, flightless birds must use their wits to survive. Hey! It's you again! What do you have to say for yourself now? Oh, right. You don't talk. <laughs> ah, lucky I remembered to borrow the platoon cookbook. Let's see. 800 onions, 50 pounds of salt, ah, half ton of flour. Turn off stove. Kiss the fish. Okay, stand on one foot, cover your eyes, and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, gourmet cooking is hard. Nine. I'll take that. And you get off that machine. Now, shorty! No more! Take the can! Take it! Take everything! I'm going back to camp! Ending my leave! If I get any more rest and relaxation, it'll kill me! Ticket to the ball game, please. Well, the game's sold out, pal. This line is for people who bought in advance. I just gotta see my favorite players up close. <gasps> Twiggy. That sports nut is more loaded than the bases before a grand slam. Oh, oh, oh. maybe you'll buy these underwears worn by Big Butt McGurney in the. Uh, we're out of the sweaty underwear business, Twiggy. You and me is now in the stealing this woodpecker's wallet business. <laughs> but we gotta get him out of this crowd. I told you, the game is sold out! <laughs> Hello, sports fan. Looking to see some big time baseball stars up close and personal? Aw, uh, I can't. The game's sold out. Well, I am Coach Buzz Buzzard from Buzzard's Fantasy Baseball Camp, where you get to play real baseball with real baseball stars. 
And today I'm offering one lucky sports fan, and that would be you, a free membership. Just follow us. Free? Woo-hoo! Take me out to the fantasy ball game. Hey, what kind of sports camp is this? What? Uh, well, it's the kind that's uh, out of the way. Those big baseball stars can hang out real private. Great, let's get playing. Oh, yeah. Hey, why don't you go through the clubhouse there? Whew. Smells more like an outhouse. Stealing this room's wallet's gonna be tougher than I figured, Tweaky. Go make us a baseball field and fast. <laughs> Memorial Stadium. This is a cornfield. Oh, it's the uh, field of my dreams. Hey, uh, yeah, let's get you uh, warmed up. We'll use our new automatic pitching machine. Uh, you stand right here. Play ball! Wallet, we can get the wallet. Okay, I'm ready to play with the stars. <laughs> yeah, well, not until. Uh, well, you still need to work on your. Uh... That's it. A real pro knows how to slip and slide with the best of them, sport. And I'll give you a little something extra to get you going. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, I said I'll uh, give you some extra pointers to get you going. Now, try a head voice slide. It'll get you into base faster. <laughs> you were sliding. Yeah, there's no stars at this camp. I'm out of here. Wait, I think I see one of the biggest baseball stars of all time. Tweaky, go be a star player or we'll lose this jump for good. Your fantasy camp is nothing but a fantasy, Coach Buzzard. Indeedy do. May I give you the famous Babe Birdie? Ah, oh, I'm the world's biggest baseball star. Hmm, how come I never heard of him? He's, uh, the best kept secret in baseball? So, you think you're pretty good stealing and running and stuff, huh? Well, I bet you can't handle my pitching. Give him your best shot, sport. I'll teach these low balls to use baseball to steal a guy's wallet. Batter up! Knock him in the next week, Twiggy. Then we'll get his wallet and van moose. Yourself to a meatball. <laughs> My custom slider. <laughs> Watch out for my bee ball. Twinkie, stop! We'll get his wallet if it's the last thing we do. Oh, the woodpecker's running third for home. Yeah, and you're gonna be out cold at home. The woodpecker makes a spectacular catch. Would you look at that woodpecker play ball? A ah! oh, one-man team, ladies and gentlemen. He's unstoppable. Amazing play. 
big butt McGurney. Wow! W would you sign my glove? You know, anybody who loves baseball the way you do deserves a front row seat to the big game today, Mr. Woodpecker. Next time we watch the game on TV. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Junk heap. Out of business? Well, if Iguana Ted is out of business, he won't leave this! If you squint, the sand looks beachy. Hey, my tire! <laughs> Say, banana boy, that's not your... <gasps> Try and make a monkey out of me, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> sells tickets to see other animals in cages. <laughs> hmm. That ape's too big to bully. I'll have to make a trade. I can see the jungle safari ride from here. <laughs> you guessed. 
throw over the wall you have to beat me. Okay, give it your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant Hogwash. General Oxford is on his way down from Texas. His boys are going to do some top secret Antarctic core ice trading. Oxford has promised his boys a Texas style barbecue before they start. You know what we say in the Corps, Sergeant. An army marches on its stomach. Yes, sir, they do, sir. Painful as that sounds, sir. That airdrop contains all the Texas barbecue fixings you'll need. Carry on. <laughs> Now this here's a barbecue. Mess for a Texas battalion can't be a teeny weeny roast. It calls for a full scale Texas style grill. Now, I'll tell you what, that there beef is still on the hoof. As you were, penguin! <laughs> Just wouldn't be a barbecue without Mama Hogwatch's famous country coleslaw recipe. Cleanses the palate, don't you know? Pop, you frosty little freeloader! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> yeah. Hot diggity dog! The flight simulator unit will make the perfect mixing bowl. And everybody knows that the key to any great barbecue is in the sauce. And my super secret recipe would make 50 miles of Texas desert taste good. Yes, sir. Come on. Tim Hut, it's the 
insubordination will not be tolerated, especially from an army. Step out of line again, and I'll bust you down to a scallion. Company, stand by to me! Especially with that side of beef in tow. Gotcha! And you are now cleared for launch, little soldier. Mama Hogwash used to say, a barbecue without beans is like a barbecue without beans. One penguin, sir. What do you mean it's not ready? Then who did that? Huh? Texas sized shish kebabs. Hmm. Now that's army ingenuity. At ease, little recruit. Why don't you join me at my picnic table? But, sir, he's no recruit. He's a penguin. Zip it, soldier. You're going to be peeling potatoes for the next year for leaving this barbecue to a subordinate. <laughs> He's no subordinate. He's a penguin. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. This barbecue's the best I've ever tasted. You've got real potential, soldier. How'd you like to run the officer's mess from now on? Two things out of place, 
And the next thing you know, the whole joint's falling apart. Woodpecker! Oh. You're not going anywhere until you clean up this mess! But, Ms. Meanie, I've got a golf game. No, what you've got is a lease. Paragraph 8, subsection C. Tenant will maintain property in condition in which it was rented. But, but... And said tenant will be out on his tail feathers if this place isn't spick and span in one hour! Oh, man. I'm gonna miss my pre-game practice on the driving range. Hmm. If I gotta clean up, I might as well have a little sport and fun while I'm at it. Cha cha cha. Like I always say, if you can't see the mess, there is no mess. Hmm. This calls for a putter. Well, that ought to do. Ah, of course, shit off, woodpecker. That's where your coat was all along. Let the healing cleanup games begin! First event, the Mighty Hammer Crush! Okay then, it's on to the kitchen for some deep sink diving! for a minute. There's no way he could have cleaned up that mess by now. I'll finally get rid of that good-for-nothing woodpecker once and for all. Hey. Whoa. Woodpecker! Oh, my gosh. Miss me. before she comes too. Are you okay, Ms. Meanie? You must have passed out from the cleaning fumes. I was so busy scrubbing this place spotless that I didn't even see you come in. Huh? I don't remember any fumes. Say, where is everything? Uh, how about, uh, I sent the furniture out to be shampooed. <laughs> yeah. I know what you did. You just hit everything in. Huh? Woodpecker, I don't know what to say. You did an amazing job cleaning. How in the heck did you do it so fast? Eh, nothing to it. Just a bit of elbow grease and some old-fashioned woodpecker know-how. Hmm. Hiya, buddy. Sorry I'm late, pal. Had a little mess on my hands. I can beat that. Mind if I am? Not too hot! Oh well, sand trap, water 
water hazard, living room. Definitely a three iron. <laughs> Now that's a clean shot. <laughs> <laughs>